couple of weeks ago, we had a frightening incident right here in the studio. Gray Hall was anchoring the new news when he had a medical emergency. We wanted to let you know that Gray is doing well and to explain exactly why you haven't seen him in a while. And so Brian Taff has the full story and, of course, the benefit of having seen Gray and you got the full lowdown. Yeah, that's right, Jim. It happened 26 days ago right here where you and I are seated right now. Over the course of several minutes on live television, Gray Hall experienced something that at first just seemed jarring to our viewers. As he quickly found out, though, it was a full-fledged medical crisis from which he's been recovering ever since. From the viewer's side of the television, it began normally enough. Good afternoon to you. It is Sunday, October 2nd. I'm Gray Hall. I was able to get through the open. Here's a look at some of the stories that we're following for you on Action News. The so I figure I can do this. I can do it. So, but I'm in, in my mind, I'm thinking, can I really do this? It was noon on a Sunday, the final newscast of Gray's morning shift, the third of the day. But even before the open rolled that day, the seeds of doubt had taken hold in Gray's mind because of something frightening that unfolded one hour earlier. Around 11 o'clock, I'm preparing for the noon show, and um, I can't see the computer screen. His vision all but disappeared. He grew dizzy and disoriented, unsure of what to do other than hope it gets better. It did not. Still, he soldiered on, convinced he could do it. Police charges the bar boy's father would endangering the well. I was trying to be as calm as possible, but my mind is saying, oh my God, you're, you're spiraling down. A fact that soon became apparent to producers behind the scenes and to viewers around the region. The typically unflappable anchor stammering and stumbling. 3,000 Waddles took part in the fifth, fifth annual Waddle f uh, run that was Gray's last story that Sunday. Moments later, he'd be whisked off the set and rushed to the hospital, where his own story would take a dramatic turn. A battery of tests revealed a colloid cyst on his brain, followed by these words. You have to have surgery. You have to have emergency surgery. The cyst, which Gray knew was there as the result of a diagnosis one month before, had grown exponentially. At first, he thought it was not something that needed immediate treatment, but its rapid growth was blocking fluid from freely draining. Pressure was building up fast. His body, doctors later told him, was shutting down. Basically, I could have died. Um, he said it sounds like I was basically dying. The surgery, which involved making a small incision in Gray's skull, went exceptionally well. But then, the cyst gone, bacterial meningitis set in a nasty and painful infection that kept him hospitalized for nearly two more weeks, much of which, gratefully, Gray does not remember. I'm glad I don't remember. You know, that sounds, it was, it was bad. Gray is back home now, resting and recovering with his wife and two young children. The headaches still come and go, but should disappear with time. And though he's tired and weak at the moment, he's newly strengthened by a simple realization arrived at in a most painful way. And health is wealth, right? So you can have all the money in the world, but if you're not healthy, what does it matter? Don't dismiss any pain. Listen to your body um, because your body is trying to keep you alive. In an odd way, Gray told me he's actually relieved that this episode happened when it did and on television. His doctors told him had he been alone or had he been home when it happened, he might have chalked it up to a bad headache and simply tried to sleep it off. And that could have been fatal. He also wanted me to tell you how grateful he has been for the support he's gotten from you, our viewers. He says the outpouring of love has truly sustained him and his family, beautiful family he's got as well. And of course, we can't wait for him to get back. We're eager to see him. Right.